Hello everyone, in this video I will be explaining you the problem maximum k2 sort of permutation. So it was asked in weekly context 462. So let's read out the problem. You are given an integer r in nums of length n, <coughs> where nums of i is a permutation of the numbers in the range 0 to n minus 1. So yeah, don't worry, I will be telling you what they are saying. So you may swap elements at indices i and j only if nums of i and nums of j equals to k, where and denotes the base twice and operation and k is a non-negative integer. Return the maximum value of k such that the array can be sorted in non-decreasing order using any number of such swaps. If num is already sorted, return 0. A permutation is a rearrangement of all elements of an array. Uh, let's take this problem 0, 3, 2, 1 and uh, let me take you to the board. We have 0, 3, 2, 1. So this is nums array and its size is and basically 4. So the array elements will lie in the range 0 to n minus 1. So in this case if you see here all the array elements let me denote it as x uh, will be uh, n is 4 so it will be from 0 to 3. So take any element uh, lesser than 0 you do not have greater than uh, 4 you do not have, greater than or equals to 4 or greater than 3 you do not have. So meaning of uh, uh, this, I mean uh, they have given array elements in this way only um, and it is uh, one of the permutation of the number from 0 to uh, n minus 1. Uh, like one of the arrangement can be 1, 2, 3, uh, other arrangement can be 1, 3, 2, something like this. So these all are permutations, arrangements of these numbers from 0 to n minus 1. So this is one of the way and in this case what they have asked is we have to sort that uh, vector. So <coughs> if you try to take index, so index are 0, 1, 2, 3. So when whenever you are sorting, right, so this is a sorted array. So its index are same. So whenever you sort that nums array, its index and element will be same. That is one of the observation that uh, you will have to see. So now uh, in order to uh, see this, this is the index and this element, this is a correct position. 1 and 3, this is not a correct position. So we have got the culprit and we will have to uh, put this element to its correct position. Now let us see this one, we have a uh, element this is at correct position and one more culprit we have got it. So whenever we have found the culprit, so what you have to do is, now you will have to swap these two elements, so take these two elements, so I will be taking a 3 and I will be taking 1. So <coughs> what they have said is your uh, nums of i, this is bitwise and operation a and d, so basically this is and with nums of j and this should be equals to k, what is k? k that you will have to find and this should be maximum, so maximum k you will have to find. So in this case since there are only two pairs which are uh, unmatched, so when you take, uh, so uh, they are like they need to be swapped to put, uh, to uh, find, uh, no, make the array in sorted order. So this is 3 and this is 1. So and operation if you do, bitwise and, so it is 1, 0. So this is 1 what we have got. So and value is 1 and uh, when you take k is equals to 1, so when you take k is equal to 1, so in that case your AND operation is also 1 and k is also 1 and this is one of the max possible value. Why it is max possible value? Because <coughs> uh, there are two elements which are unmatched, so only those will be swapping. If they were asked to find k element minimum, so you could uh, you know take 0 and swap the elements with all other elements. Basically, you, you could take the help of 0 and in that case your answer will, k will always be 0. But since in question they have asked to find the maximum k, so in that case uh, you will be only taking the elements which are not at its correct position. And, and what you will doing is you will be doing basically the AND operation with all the elements. Uh, in this case you have only two that is why you are getting answer as k1 only. But I will be taking one more example wherein while I was solving I got a mistake. So I have found out that all the elements whatever you have uh, 
which are not in this correct position you will have to do the and operation and whatever result you will get that will your will be your answer so in this case uh, k is 1 so 1 you will have to return yeah in this case 1 is the answer and uh, uh, in this case, see uh, zero is at correct position. One is also at correct position. Three and two are not. So if you do and with three and two, so your answer will, you will be getting is two because three is one one, and two is one zero. So and operation will be one zero, which is two. And in this case, if you see all elements are not at its correct position, so you just take and of all these uh, numbers, and you will get uh, zero as answer, and which is uh, true. Let me take one example and uh, prove you. So we have this example 0, 1, 2, 3, 7, 6, 4, 5. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 7, 6, 4, 5. Yeah, we are getting. So we have this num array. Let's put index 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have this index. So if you try to see these four elements are at its correct position. Now, in order to find this, uh, you know, k, such that you when you make the swap of any two numbers, so the AND operation that two numbers has to be k. So in this case, if you take all the elements, seven we have, six we have, sorry, six is this way, not four we have, and five we have. So when you take AND of these two. Uh, when you are taking and, so whenever 0 is there, that will be 0, 0, and we don't have any 0 here, so it is 1. So this value is 4. So when you take k is equal to 4, uh, if you take k is equal to 4, you could, you know, take two elements and swap it. So <coughs> how I will do is, I will take, let's say this one, 4, and I will try to swap it 6. Why am I doing this? Because uh, I have found out 4. And when you do this AND operation, you will get this. So I have found out 4. So uh, this 4 uh, is present at 6 position. But ideally, 6 should be there here. But uh, where you are finding 6? Six? 6 you are finding at 5th position. So that's why, uh, like, whatever element is there and index is there. So I will be doing basically the AND operation. So I will be taking these two elements and uh, try to swap it. So now your array will look like something like this. 6 and 5 and its index are 4, 5, 6, 7 and 6 is now at its right position but when you are doing this swap you will have to again check this because uh, 6 is basically 1 and 0, 4 is 1, 0, 0 and you, the, this is giving you 4 and which is equals to k so this swap is valid one so now again <coughs> you take 4 and this should here it should be 5 so you just swap with 5 so your array will look like something like this and index are 4, 5, 6, 7. Now if you see these two elements are sorted and when you are making this sorted you, you have taken 4 and 5. So this is uh, 4 and 5 and and operation uh, like these two elements and operation when you are doing you are getting 4 only. So now these two are sorted and these uh, four elements are already sorted. Now you will have to sort these two. So again you do 7 and 4. So you are getting again 4. So <coughs> again uh, when you are getting 4, so you will be swap, swapping these two. So now your array is uh, you know sorted. 4, 5, 6, 7 is the element and this is the index 4, 5, 6, 7. So now all the elements are sorted and when you are swapping these two elements, you are getting always 4. So one of the observation uh, is that whichever elements are not swapped uh, sorry which are not presented correct index you will have to basically take the AND operation and all that and whatever uh, value you are getting uh, after doing AND operation that value is the one uh, which is your answer and uh, there will be a possible you know uh, possible way of uh, swaps uh, uh, such that the swap between those two elements will be equals to and of all the elements which are not at its correct position and uh, <coughs> yeah in this way you can basically uh, you know find the answer i think uh, you guys got to know how to solve this so in order to solve this uh, what you will have to do is 
let me take n as uh, nums dot size right and i'll be taking answer or let me take k because k value you will have to find and initially i'll take int max why i'm taking int max let me put this at the corner the reason why i'm taking <coughs> int max is that i want to make sure k element starting we have all as one at every bit all elements are one such that whenever i find the element which are not at its correct index i will do an and operation of, uh, with that whenever i do and operation so all bits are set so it will not affect the answer if i let's uh, let's say take k is equal to zero so in that my answer uh, will always be zero because and operation uh, uh, you know with zero with any other element will be zero only so that is, that's why i'm taking it max and i'll be running through the loop one by one i'll be going through all the elements and i'll see if uh, nums of i is not equals to i which means uh, this element is not at its right position because it is not in sorted order so now i will take hand operation with this element nums of i okay so whenever i am coming out of the loop i found how many elements are uh, not at its right position and i've done the and operation uh, with that and at the end if i see this k is equal to int max which means <coughs> my uh, you know this in this if condition no element has gone into there is no element which has gone into this if condition so that's why my k is as it is which means all the elements are sorted so in this case you will have to return zero as asking the question and at the end you will have to return just k let's try to run the code and yeah is getting uh, accepted let's try to submit the code yeah it got accepted and beats 100% of the user so i think uh, this is one of the most optimal solution and uh, the time complexity of this is linear which is o of n and space complexity is o of 1 which is constant and uh, uh, i think this one i have done it using observation only like i have taken multiple test cases and uh, i have tried to figure out uh, like how do we solve this so i came to know that it, it can be solved using and operation there may be some proof of this so yeah but by doing observation i have done this so yeah thank you guys for watching the video